found ladders to more ladders. To a door. It's blocked. Blocked? Okay, well, back down the ladders, everybody. We've wasted our time once again. There we go. All right. There I, I you figured are, it out. Dear cousin. What is this? Who is this amazing person in your company? I am Siora, daughter of Vladnid, daughter of Meb. My mother is the Maal, the chief of our clan. I am honored to make your acquaintance, Siora. <gasps> this is incredible. You look so much alike, you could be related. If you would allow me, princess, I would like to confer a mission to my cousin. You need to visit the governors of the bridge and Teleme to give them my formal regards, that sort of thing but also to discover what they've managed to learn. They've been here much longer than we have. Perhaps they've made some inroads to finding a cure for the Malachor. Forgive me, Mal, but I have a request for you. My people needs your help. I thought we might discuss matters together at leisure, but please, speak your piece. The Lions, the Bridge Alliance and my people are at war. My mother has sent me to you in search of allies. I fear that without your help, our clan will suffer great horrors. We have already lost so many souls. Hmm. This seems a sensible request. You know, though, we cannot go to war with our neighbors. Perhaps there is a way to negotiate a ceasefire, the time to see things more clearly. Excellent idea. I would be completely lost without you. Go and parley with, um, the Queen, dear cousin. Try and put an end to confrontations for the time being. I will come with you. It will take more than one person to convince my mother to lay down our weapons. Perfect. Take Kurt along with you and anyone you feel useful. I've been told that the roads are not safe. Safe travels, dear cousin. And watch out for yourself. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. <laughs> He's probably the bad guy. <laughs> At least that's what it feels like. Cousin, what can I do for you? Any news of your parents? No. With the time it takes to travel to the continent, it's not surprising. But I don't miss them. My father's next letter will certainly be full of his usual disdain. As for my mother, you know her. She's probably too busy planning her next assassination to have noticed my absence. Any news of your parents? No. My what? father's next. As for my mother, she's probably. What's going, what's going on here? Oh. <laughs> I'm going to leave now. Goodbye, Constantine. Look out for yourself. I like his chair. Ah, yes. <laughs> it's locked. <laughs> There's a big lock on that door. What about this one? Nope. Okay. What's going on up here? Hello? Ooh! Would you look at this? We have a ball of fireflies. Heads. Or helmets of some sort. Elephant testicles. A human skeleton. Large human skeleton. Okay. That's a strange room. I don't like the amount of guards up here. It's a big leather bound book. Okay. I'm just going through all kinds of rooms and I'm not finding anything. Locked. Of course it's locked. Where's my lock picking not high enough? Alright, well we went that way. Now let's go this way. Ooh, the royal bed. 
No guard. Oh. I guess this is a bathroom that comes with many hats and boxes. Or maybe this is the royal wardrobe. I don't know. This this game's weird, man. All right. Like there, there's so much lore behind this game that it feels like it it comes with a different game. <laughs> like like there's supposed to be another another game to play before this one. There's so many doors in this fucking place. Desade, you have a yeah. Thank you for coming. I know that you're very busy, but I need your help. I'm listening, sir. This island is vast, and we only know a tiny part of it. As you know, your uncle has asked me to draw maps to facilitate the merchant's travels. Alas, I'm slightly too old to be roaming the paths, setting up camps here and there. So I'd appreciate it if, as you travel, you mark the places you deem to be safe on your map. Very well. I will take care of it, Professor. Excellent. I knew I could count on you. Uh, one more thing. Do you remember that gigantic creature that you defeated in Serene? Yeah. Uh, bringing a specimen to the city was obviously not a good idea. An accident was inevitable. But according to my sources, there are others of them on this island, and your uncle wishes to know more about them. I know that a scholar of the Alliance, Professor Serafedin, has also taken an interest in these creatures. I tried to contact him, but apparently he disappeared during an expedition to study them. Naturally, I cannot ask you to rummage through the entire island looking for him, but if you can find any trace of him, his studies on these giant creatures could be immensely useful. Very well. If I find anything out, I'll let you know. The road to knowledge is long and difficult, but this is the price of wisdom, Desade. All right, set up a camp in the region of... Jesus Christ, Glen... Glen in Glen. I should go to Glen. Find the professor's notes regarding the the Dag Frasimen. What the hell is this game in? Some Norwegian lost dialect. <laughs> I don't know. Like we we all we got all kinds of shit. What the hell is this? Can you help me? What the hell are you dressed in? Bertir Tumat on Omenawi. Why are you dressed like this? Hello, I'm not one of your people. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. A legate? Is that someone important? Indeed. I'm in charge of diplomatic relationships with other nations. So you'll be able to help me? My chief sent me to trade some items with your village, but there are these bod irony who do not want me to set up shop here. These what? Bod irony. The ironbacks. The warriors who protect this village. Every time I come, they take my items without giving me anything in exchange. Please, I don't understand how things work here. Very well. Stay here. I'll try to clear this up. Adlo radar on all Menawi. May the earth always be sturdy under your footsteps. Thank you. I will follow that. One arm and a fish you like a glove. Nope. We'll make it for you. All right. What the hell? Oh, hey. A box. Ooh, another box. All right, Manfred. There's a strange looking man out there. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? I met an islander in the streets who was complaining to me about the guard's behavior. Really? It would seem that patrols have confiscated the goods he was hoping to sell several times. Oh, I see. Indeed, I've been told about this man. The problem, Your Excellency, is that our orders are strict. Merchants who do not have a patent ratified by the minister cannot sell their goods in the street. 
And since your islander doesn't have one, I doubt he even knows what it is, my men have no choice but to confiscate his knickknacks. I see. Thanks for clarifying that. I'll talk to the minister. Is there anything else? Ugh. Obtain a patent. No, thank you. Sounds like real life. All right. Back to bureaucracy. Away! Oh, hey. A box. Balance. I need a bit of practice. I can't. Okay. Okay. So I need. If I want to go anywhere. Not anywhere. If I want to go somewhere. That, uh. Has a shortcut in it, I need to get the vigor stuff. Alright, back in here. Dear cousin, may I have a patent for this man who's dressed in blackface? Oh, this isn't to my cousin, is it? Minister, your excellency. It is always an honor. Hey, yeah, thank you. How may I serve you? Give me a pen. I would like to talk to you about an islander who's trying to set up shop in our city. Since he doesn't have a patent, his wares get confiscated as soon as he receives them. And you want me to provide him with the said patent? I would be delighted to show you the procedure to follow so that we may study his request. You'll understand that we cannot give an authorization without having determined the value of the goods beforehand. We must determine the tax rate according to this value, determine the best emplacement for this business. In short, these things take time. A lot of time. Yeah, well. I'm certain that my cousin will be delighted <clears throat> to hear that our relations with the natives are progressing in a significant way. And he will probably be very grateful to the minister who helped their first merchant to set up shop in our city. Indeed, I seem to recall reading a circular on the necessity of establishing good relations with the natives. We could accelerate things by leaving some formalities for later. I would think so too. Very well. In that case, here's the patent that will allow your protege to legally pursue his activity in the city. You should give him this copy. The other one will be kept in the archives. However, one of my representatives will visit his stall for the estimation and to determine the tax rate in accordance with the... Thanks a lot, Minister. Looking forward to seeing you again. Would you like anything else? Uh... That'll be all. Goodbye, Your Excellency. My merchant accreditation went up. Very nice. So I don't know what I'm doing. With this guy. Like it's just it's just weird. Now you go back to this guy. Oh hey. Take it all. As we do. I have to give him a patent so he can sell stuff, but I don't know what he can sell. You came back. Something terrible happened. What is it? I was just bringing you the patent you needed to set up shop. The Bod Irony came back, and they took my cousin away. He came to bring us animal pelts and new objects from the village. But the warriors came back. They took everything he was bringing me. And they also took him. Oh, I don't know what they will do with him. Please, bring him back to me. I don't see why they would have arrested your cousin. But I'll try to find out. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Where? It took, took my cousin. All right. Where are you keeping that man's cousin? Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? You know. I've come to see you again to talk about the Islander merchant. I managed to obtain a license for him, 
but he informed me that while I was taking care of this, his cousin, who was making a delivery for him, was arrested. I'm sorry, Your Excellency. Especially considering you've managed to obtain an official authorization for him. I'm afraid my men ran out of patience when they saw this hunter making deliveries for the merchant again. They wanted to confiscate his cargo, but the lad resisted and... He was thrown in jail for disorderly conduct. If you want to set him free, that's where you must go. Sorry, again, Your Excellency. I should have known you'd managed to obtain the necessary license for your protege and told the patrol. Is there anything else? No. Thank you. Talk to the person in charge of the prison.